Hi guys, it's your favorite mystic the siren says and welcome back to my Chanel where I speak about movie TV and very soon to come books Please check my community tab for a tidbit more info about the books now This episode is gonna be super short because I do not care This episode was an amalgamation of things that would have mattered a lot more had they taken better care of the characters Had they done things a little more gently had they gotten rid of people sooner, all right? Disclaimers is not about the actors, it's about the characters. Any passion or lack thereof does not matter. Um, Tyler Laronius, Perineus, he he just do whatever he feel like and we just gonna have to deal with it because apparently we highbrow Negroes at this point, right? Okay, anyways, so let's talk about it, right? Let's go talk about whatever I feel like because I do not care anymore. And at this point, the picture on the screen might not even be my usual like collage of scenes of the episode. It might just be the sister's frame because this episode is not going to be long and I do not care anymore. All the girls having their moment with their men does not feel right to me. I don't know why. Even with Rich, the one that I preferred, right, still didn't have any emotional depth for me right when it comes to gary i know people will be like well siren you must be happy you've been screaming for over a year get this man off my screen get this criminal off my screen you're right usually i'd be very happy about this except if he wasn't lying about the cartel now our girls have to deal with the cartel qed keeping the dumb mafioso aspect of the script Staying in the show. You guys know that one of the reasons I want Gary to go is not just because I dislike him as a character, but because his character has outlived its usefulness. It's been seven seasons, right? The character is no more, but him adding the element of, hey, not only am I an illegal guy in the trade system or whatever, the hedge fund system or whatever, I also have ties to the cartel. When you add the cartel into it, no vibes. When you add that in, that means that they're going to come for the next person. And even though really that should mean that his little white C-O-K-E henchman, even though it's saying that it should really fall on him because he was like the second in command or the right hand guy, this show is dramatic. So it's going to end up falling on Danny, sorry, Andy and Jordan. Jordan because he um he put some of the cartel's illegal money into his campaign and Andy because he got Andy a lot of assets using allegedly using either illegal money or the cartel money so I feel like he's dead but his imprint and the part that I hated about him the most which was the fact that his storyline disrupted the slice of life stories that are going on all of that is still going to remain because tyler perry made sure to add the stupid cartel thing right before he passed so to me it's like this death sorry this unaliving is bittersweet because it's like i'm not i'm not getting what i want out of his passing like sure i don't like him right that's that's the sweetness of him not being in the show anymore i don't like his character but the bitterness comes that his impact is still there and so for me that does not make it a happy ending very personally okay darn it now the girls popping up at the wedding da, 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 who cares you guys really couldn't have done nothing if gary was there 
All right, now I know they're all taller than him, so there's an aspect of, oh, what if they all ganged up on him or whatever. But this show is not realistic enough for that, and plus he probably would have had a pew pew, and he would have sh plowed somebody. All right, I just, I just don't care. Jordan coming, you know, to the rescue. We're supposed to think Jordan's the one who ended him, but we all know it's probably Hayden. And if it's not Hayden, it was somebody from the Madame who did it dis not really that discreetly and then left. So we either know it's Madame coded or it's Hayden coded. We're not even going to pretend that it was the girls or that it was um, Jordan. Because that's what, that's what they're going to want us to play around with for the next two to three episodes. I'm not playing that game. Okay? I'm not playing that game. Period. Point blank. We know it was either Hayden or somebody affiliated with the Madame. Let's just leave our votes there for now for the betting process. Okay? I didn't care anything about Jordan being all over Andy um their love how strong it is get Jordan out of here get him out I don't feel any chemistry between the two of them number one you already had one guy and I didn't really like him but I was getting used to him and he was attractive enough that I'm like all right maybe I can vibe with this just when I was starting to think that maybe I could open up my heart to this because they at least look good together aesthetically. The guy left for greener pastures, honestly, as he should, because him getting bogged down with Tyler Perry would not have been good for his trajectory. So you're adding this other guy, right, who is curved, not straight, okay? And there's not an issue with that. However, he's not one of the curved people that can act straight. You know, like Anthony Bridgerton, he's gay in real life but unless you knew about that you really wouldn't be able to tell because he's very very good at acting straight you know what i mean air jordan does not give i you wouldn't even tell that i'm not straight he's not giving that that also plus the acting is bad the chemistry is not there i'm not even too sure what they have in common apart from woohoo things woohoo things bed things sex things that's all they have in common that's all any of these women have in common with their new men's that's all and it's so boring and it's so tiring the woohoo things is supposed to be the cherry on top for the viewers like oh my god they're so compatible and then we get a steamy scene and we're like ooh, ah, ah. i don't feel anything i don't feel a thing what is this what is this and before somebody says why are you watching this it cannot just be that we easily give up on things because we don't like it a little bit there are lots of shows that i just watch two to three episodes and i give up but i'm trying so hard to give this show a chance because the idea is nice right you want to make girlfriends for the modern age it's failing and this is not to say that shows like girlfriend or um soul food which i'm almost done with that as well by the way i'm not sure if i'm gonna make a video or not because i have a lot of polarizing opinions about that show but obviously he wants those shows but make it for our modern age it's not working it's not working and I, I, and i'm seeing that a lot of the people who do really like this show think it's well written they're not coming from a guilty pleasure aspect and let me say this you don't have to i know a lot of the times when i speak i'm very passionate and so it sounds like i'm saying i'm right and you're wrong and you're an idiot if you don't agree with me no please don't take it that way that's just how i talk but the way you might take it is not how I mean it. How I mean it, I just, I just want to get my own opinion out. That's it. As you guys can see, if you look at my comment sections, people don't always agree with me and people say whatever they want to say. And sometimes people even change my mind with things that they say. You know? But this show, it just, it just needs a... It just needs a different direction. And it needs for the little things to matter way more than the big mafioso nonsense. We need more slice of life moments and you can't just fling the slice of life moments in there and then be like, ah, take that. I'm not taking nothing. Try it with yourself. That's all I got to say. Huh? What? I, every time like we get the moments with like Karen and Zach and, you know, Sabrina and Rich and danny and tony those are definitely the more slice of life moments and so in certain aspects except for danny and tony because i hate them they're very much easier to watch but i still feel like it's unearned 
okay, we see Tony low-key complaining about Danny for the last three episodes, but all of a sudden Tiffany's gone. So now it's fine, which is why I'm kind of glad that Danny brought up. Are you only picking me because your other option has fleed the country? I know he brought up the whole my therapist that I didn't put up boundaries. Oh, did you? Oh, did you? Was it before or after she sent you the nudes, the noodles? Was that before or after, Tony? Tony? Sassy little thing, Tony? Huh? And oh, and also, we don't even have to contend with her being a stepmother anymore. Which, even though I am a proponent of Danny not wanting kids, and I was actually happy with that version of the storyline, you have the kids there, right? Maybe you're going to use them to make her a better person, to deepen her character, and then make them leave. You know, like maybe she takes care of them for like a year, she's around there for like a year, and it changes her, and then they dip off to be with their mom. That's how you use people. That's how you use plot to change characters. You don't just put them in there for drama. Fake change by making them change within five seconds when this is not that type of show. And when I mean that's not the type of show, I mean there are certain shows that like an issue is just for one episode and then it's fixed. Right? You, you have an issue, you fix it in the to the end of the episode and then you, we never talk about that again. Sisters is not that kind of show, so no. You did not use those children properly, so now they're just gone. And everything that they thought about doesn't even mean anything because now Diane does not have to change her life at all. She ain't gotta think about childproofing. She ain't gotta think about being more appropriate because the kids are now in Italy. What was the point of bringing up that question, right? Anybody who thought Tony had a point when he was mad at Danny, right? Let's entertain that for a second. What was the point of all that discussion of Danny was right because um, he didn't even give her any time or no, Tony was right. You got to think about the kids at all times, whatever. What was the point of got to think about the kids? What was the point of all of that? If the kids aren't gone to Italy and will not be seen at least for a few years, right? The kids are gone, will not come back at this point, depending on how the age is. Tyler Perry can even switch out them little nigs. Like... There was just no use. She didn't even get to change. Because the whole time she felt vindicated because she knew that she was right. And that's just an opinion. Right? All she is is vindicated. All the points that Tony might have had are now moot. And now he doesn't have to deal with her either. Because I highly doubt they had a conversation. I feel like he was about to talk to her about boundaries. And then she was like, guess what? I'm going to Italy. Do you want to come with me? And then he probably like set a boundary by saying, no, I'm staying with Danny. But you can take the kids though. That's it. That's not setting a boundary. That's not having the tough conversations. You want us to have tough villains. We need tough conversations in this show. Stop broaching the difficult conversations. Like, okay, let's just sprinkle it in here. Okay. Uh, infertility. Want babies. Uh, are we marriage minded? Are we good enough for marriage? Stop broaching the conversations and actually have them. This show is not good just because it entertains the idea of X thing. It should be a good show because you entertain and give us the show. You give us the performance. You don't just entertain the thought. We get it. But what is this? I know, going to Sabrina, like, Rich, you got some nerve. And oh, you know what? Tyler Perry, you got some nerve. I knew it. I've been saying in the last few episodes that I was dumb for being on Rich's side because obviously he just didn't want kids because he was traumatized. And then they made him kind of toxic as well. Like him being traumatized, that's one thing. And now they're like, oh, I just didn't meet the right girl. I just didn't meet the right girl I can have a kid with, you know what I'm saying? What? Who cares? Like, who cares at all? I'm so sorry that my voice is so loud, but I'm so frustrated. And so now they have this conversation that would have been beautiful if we had gotten the context that he doesn't want kids, but you know, the way I'd always said that obviously he'd probably flip on the marriage thing. Like he didn't sound as nah towards marriage, he did towards kids. Why couldn't you also show us from the beginning that the I don't want kids thing was sort of a light thing, not a serious thing. Instead, you made it seem so serious. I was so happy that you're going to bring such a serious topic of honestly being unequally yoked. 
But then to make it worse, while he's having this conversation with Sabrina, there are still flecks of him being uncertain in there. Which makes sense that Sabrina is like, look, this is not, you can't just take the sperm back. When it's done, it's done. And she's correct. All I could think about during the end of the conversation when they kissed was resentment loading. Resentment incoming. Poof. If they play this right, and they're not going to, because they rarely ever do. They only just skirt around the idea. They don't actually give it to us. These two are not going to work. Because he's not sure if he wants kids. And even though he's claiming he kind of does, some of his wording kind of gives that he's just doing it for her. That is resentment 1005. Resentment 2015. Why would you do this to yourself, Sabrina? Why? We could be able to get on you, Sabrina. You could tell from the doctor's office that he was just doing this because he was scared. And you still decided to walk out with this man and to, ugh, and to let him fool you into this. Why would you do that? And let's get on Rich. Why would you care? Honestly, if I'm thinking a girl who's crazy enough not just get a random door to get a door from a man that she knows who isn't Maurice, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Maurice is the only man that she knows that I would have accepted her being surrogated for or whatever. Because that makes sense. She's not going to cheat with Maurice. But no, a straight man who we can tell wants her, but she acting delusional. I'm leaving. You need standards, Rich, because you don't have any. You're just like, she's pretty. So I'm going to cut down my own morals to be with her. I'm going to cut down my thought process and what I want and what's important to me to be with her. No, don't do that. Just to hurry forward. I did enjoy the Miss Marie plot, all right? Her sticking it to Hayden, so well deserved. Because Hayden, you're being delusional. And the intelligence that I know you have, it's slipping, right? Obviously, you're going through a lot. But bro, do better. That's all I got to say to you. Now, Miss Marie taking care of the Gary thing. She, uh, Andy has spilled to so many people what's going on with her and Gary. It's it's abysmal at this point. But now Gary is finito. So we don't even know what's going to happen with that. But hey, Andy's partner. <laughs> Yay, oh my God. Whatever. I don't really care about Andy being partner. I should care. It's a slice of life moment. And she has allegedly worked very hard for it. I don't think you kind of owe Maurice a little bit of money for, you know, helping you get partner a little bit. A little bit of money. But whatever. Or at least stop looking down at him, respect him a little more. I understand why you look down on him. I get it. But, you know, he kind of helped you make a lot more money. So, you know, a little bit more politeness is earned. That's all I got to say on that. But, yeah, like when it comes to Karen and Fatima, that's like the chillest part. But we know Karen. And let me just get on Karen for five seconds about something that doesn't even have to do with this episode. Respect that man Aaron now. Respect him now. You don't gotta like him. You don't gotta date him. Have you not seen how much he's grown? How now at this point, he's not even trying to be with you anymore. He's just trying to do everything he can to take care of both the babies. He wasn't immediately prejudiced like Zach. And I'll take care of one. He's immediately gonna take care of both the babies financially as well not just not just emotionally financially physically all the leads right you need to put some respect on his name immediately because i'm sick and tired of you disrespecting him i would have understood the disrespect like in the heights of you two like going on and off with each other and he was being a little creepy and doing too much but now he's not doing too much and you're making your anger get the best of you Keep that energy towards Pam because she got the gosh darn nerve. She wants to get a lot of money because now she's being endorsed by Marie. Get that energy to Pam, period. That's what I got to say on that. But just to end this off, guys, this show ain't nothing. And honestly, I might not continue it at this point. I might not. And I wasn't going to make a video about soul food, but I just might. Because I'm caring a little bit less about what people think. Just a little bit less. Who cares if my opinions are, you know, out there and people are like, why would you even say that? I might just, just say it at this point because if I don't say it, who's gonna? I might watch next week's episode. Might. Now that Gary is gone, maybe they'll do the Tyler Perry thing and forget about the cartel and everything will just go down to slice of life. 
But considering how much they're trying to mirror this show with elements of the Oval, I highly doubt it. Anyways, please let me know your thoughts down below. And thank you so much for watching. Goodbye, my sires. Susu! -soo!